And welcome back, guys, to Falcon Plays FTL. Uh, this should be like episode five or so. I want to say it's been a, a long, long time between uh, the last episode of this one, at least in terms of recording. In terms of releasing, probably not as uh, separated, but uh, in recording, pretty far. So try, I was getting a look at everything here, making sure everything was fine. Um, we have the same crew still. We have the heal burst, and we have a lot of weaponry. Um, our shields aren't that great. Neither is our dodging, and... It seems that our equipment, um, we can sell the heal burst, and we'll sell, we have two heal bursts, we can sell those for sure. Uh, more crew members would be pretty good right now, at least like, you know, NGs or something, like, you know, something to get our crew, like, you know, fix shit a lot faster. Um, other than that, uh, 89 to scrap, not exactly too crazy about that, but, uh, either way, let's actually continue on here. So we left off, apparently, in Sector 5, so that's not bad. Um, we do have the long-range scanners leading us to believe, uh, letting us know that there's a few things ahead of us, so, in the Sultan-controlled sector, Let's uh, jump over to, um, I want to say, let's jump over down here. And then it gives us the option to jump to the store. Now, there's going to be obviously a ship here. But we know that and we need scrap, so either way, let's go ahead about it here. A ship with pirate markings demands your surrender. It is sad. It is sad times when even Zoltan space is beset, is beset by pirates. You doubt these fools will be missed. All right. So fuck these fools. Uh, you know, fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. Um, use my best sack with Aroka here. So these guys do have... I want to say, uh, either a beam drone and a laser drone, or, you know, two of the same, who knows. So, um, obviously it's gonna be a little bit troubling, so, let's just fire everything that we can at these people. Uh, so let's just go straight up for their, fuck, they have a lot of weaponry too. <laughs> let's just shoot everything here, man. And hold laser, just fucking send a barrage out there. So, um, we're gonna need a lot of missing, so Carlton Banks, oh shit, our shields are down already. Carlton Banks and, uh, who is it, Penske, who is our... Penske, alright, Penske needs to fucking uh, get it together for this one because it's gonna be kind of troublesome otherwise. Uh, their energy shield is down though, so that's good. Okay, and the laser kinda hit to a degree, but uh, otherwise pretty good. So, um, I was also told by a member that I, uh, one of the commenters, thank you for that, that I missed out on the Zoltan cruiser unfortunately. I had the quest and I missed the proper option to, you know, get about it. And, uh, you, you know what? You're probably right because, uh, I haven't... Let's see here. Good, alrighty. So here's the things. Number one, a viewer told me that I missed out on the Zoltan Cruiser. I missed the wrong option. And, you know, you're probably completely correct because um, I haven't... I, I'm obviously on a new clean slate right now, Slave. So I haven't played FTL for quite a while. So I forgot what unlocks, what pattern quests unlocks what ship. So I need to look that out before I continue on. So I can try to unlock stuff on the way. And number two, I was told that I could uh, basically... Um, use a weapon for a particular sector by holding control and then clicking on the item. So that's actually really, really helpful. So thank you for that, guys. With that said, let's continue on here. Yeah, there you go. See, control and clicking, that actually works out pretty goddamn well. All right, so here we got to bring down their, uh, their weapons and their shields. So, all right, we landed one under weapons. So at least one of their weapons is kind of down. Um, I should have probably sent that Artemis to the shield room, though, in all honesty. Okay, so that missed out there. Land that in the shields, please. Okay, good job. Okay, and their shields are kind of down. So Artemis could pretty much um, now rely on, let's see here. Let's go with, uh, their drones are kind of off the hook as well, aren't they? So let's go ahead and see if we can hit one of their drones. Hopefully, okay, so their shields are down now. Artemis is uh, no longer needed. Oh, we missed on the fucking... Uh, drones. So let's actually aim at the drones and uh, oh, our weapons are down. I just realized that. Dexterity! Come on, let's get it together, man. Uh, let's send a pen... No. Let's send Penske over there really quickly. So I guess Artemis should probably stay in uh, activated for now, considering our weapons are down. So let's just go with Artemis to... Uh... Their drones are really a pain in the fucking ass, aren't they? So let's go with Artemis to... Well, let's send the burst laser to the drone first and hope for the best. Alrighty, uh, we took one of them out for sure. And I, I don't think we actually do need to send an Artemis again. So let's just go with burst laser straight up into the weaponry. Okay, probably into the shields because they'll seem to be coming online again. Alrighty, and weapons have been fixed. Penske, go back over there. Thanks for helping Dexterity out. It seems to be fucking lagging it over here. Come on, Dexterity LS. You're not going to survive this one if you don't uh, put it together here. 
Alright, and they're gonna try to give up now. Accept their offer. They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy the ship. Accept their offer. It's two missiles, one drone parts, 21 scrap. Dude, we're in sector five. Fuck that. Uh, so I'm gonna say no to that offer and whole laser on over to, uh, I guess the pilot ship. No more Artemis, so we're good to go. They're pretty much uh, just waiting for death at this point. You guys should have offered me a better deal if you wanted to survive, let me tell you. And, the, I mean, the payout wasn't even any better, but it was still at least better than the shit that they were offering me. So, three fuel, one missile, 32 scrap. Alright, let's continue onward here. Onward, my wayward son. So, uh, we could jump to the store now, but let's actually check out one more beacon before we do so, hopefully get a little bit more cash. Ah, uh, you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. I think I've done this before, haven't I? It's been a while since I recorded, so I forgot. But let's go ahead and participate in the study. Sometimes it could backfire on you. And it did. As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board as a hostile ship appears in the radar. You hear the Zoltans yell in the distance, We're being held hostage! Alrighty, so... We're gonna have a few invaders here. Quite a fucking few invaders! Holy shit! And they're gonna take down our doors? You guys are fucking animals! You're gonna take down... Our doors and our medic room, which kind of poses a threat to this. Here's a problem. Usually you want to fight these guys in the medic room. And uh, chances are I probably should. Here's the thing, though. They're going to fuck up my doors, though. Fuck. Um, damn, this is really troubling, man. I could take the one off of engines and put it in medic and then have uh, Penske and Dexterity get in here, I guess. But... Uh, so here's the problem. I could I could pretty much uh, open the doors up here and try to uh, suffocate them. The problem is, though, they're going to take down our doors before we even have a chance to do that. Actually, no, no, we might not because we have level 2 doors. Okay, you know what? Let's go with that train of thought then. Let's try to just suffocate them and uh, hope for the best. And meanwhile, we will... That heal burst looks pretty good right about now, doesn't it? It seems like, yeah, you know what? You could be shooting me towards you guys and helping you fight these guys off, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So... Artemis, uh, it's imperative that Artemis lands on their fucking shields as soon as possible. Burst laser is gonna have to go on their weapons, because they are fucking decked to the brim with weapons, too. Oh, shit. Um, open that. Dexterity, go back to doing what you're doing, and, uh, Penske, go back to the shields. <laughs> False alarm, guys. Alrighty, come on, come on, oxygen. Oh, they took down the medic room, but at least, uh, they didn't take down the doors just yet. Although... This asshole Liam Neeson over here is trying to fucking do it the best thing he can to do that, though. Alright, now they're in the, uh, shields room. Meaning, uh, Penske needs to hightail the fuck out of there, so go over there. And, uh... Now, the problem with this is here, now that, um... I could close this, and let's send, uh, not Liam Neeson. Let's send Penske to kind of repair the door, essentially. So I'm trying to get out here. And how are we doing here? We took down their shields to a degree. Uh, our whole laser is about to uh, fire on them, and we want their weapons for sure. Okay, one more Artemis to the shield should be pretty good. And let's just keep the same barrage here. Now, hopefully, um, Penske could kind of fix the... the door here before... Okay, our shields are down now. That's kind of terrifying, but... It is what it is. Uh, let's actually go and... Okay, we landed that and... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Dexterity, you're about to down. So get out of there. Quickly. Let's actually try to aerate this room as well. And you get over here. Dexterity. I need you to run over to the Penske file room. So you and Penske hang out over here, I suppose. And uh, they're going to take down our weapons. So hopefully that happens before... Okay. They're gonna take down our weapons, but hopefully that happens. Oh shit, there goes their sensors as well. So let's aerate the whole fucking ship. How about that? Just fuck it. We might die right now. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not saying that uh <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest here. We're gonna pretty much call it quits soon. Alrighty. Burst laser needs to hold off for a second. Alright, they teleported out of here though, it sounds like. So we can open that up. Oh god, we actually survived it somehow. Uh, somebody's still in here attacking us? Somebody's still in here attacking us over here, it seems. Alright, asshole. Whoever you are, uh, go fuck your shit. 
Alright, so let's open this. You take out the ship and contact the research station. Uh, you got one fuel, one drone parts, 32 scrap. Thank you for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush unsuccessful, unsuccess unsuspecting passerbys. Please take this. Three fuel, one missile, 20 scrap, and a defense drone mark. Well, unfortunately, I'm kind of fucked at the moment, though, man. So, let's, uh, let's let our shields get fixed here first. Where is this man? Oh, he's in our oxygen room now. Oh, stop being an asshole. What is your problem? Can you actually fight this dude? I don't think you can. Carlton Banks, uh, it's not unusual to be loved. Uh, you better love this man and... Oh, it's two of them. Okay, come on, Carlton Banks. Come on, Carlton Banks. It's a Zoltan. It's just a one fucking Zoltan. You could beat a slug. Come on, Carlton. You're not going to beat a slug. All right, you need to run away then. All right, so here's the problem now. We should probably close all these doors then because this man is about to... Uh, Essentially take out our oxygen. So we need to send everybody over here As soon as possible Okay, so he took down our oxygen for sure. Don't kill anybody. Oh Penske Penske run away Penske. Oh Who was that dexterity? I'm sorry dexterity. Uh, this is one game that you did not survive and now these both of these guys died though So at least dexterity went out like a champ for us like he uh essentially uh <laughs> Took down the slug for us. It was kind of like his last uh, hurrah, essentially. Alrighty, so uh, I'm just kind of hanging out. I like how I'm just kind of hanging out in the pilot seat. Like, you know, what's going on back there, guys? Keep it down. Don't make me turn the ship around. Alrighty, so I need to fix this medic room, man. I don't think that... Oh, man. Are we getting enough oxygen? I think that we're good. So we need to start fixing shit as soon as possible. And, oh, man, that was fucking terrible. And we lost dexterity at last. That was our weapons person, too, which kind of fucking sucks. But what can you do about it? Alright, so that's up and running. You guys go to the medic room and get a little bit of uh, health back in you. So it's not looking too good now. It's definitely not looking too good. That was probably a missed opportune jump for me. I should have just gone to the store and said, fuck it to that beacon. But you know, unfortunately, that's what happens. You know, you try to... <clears throat> try to lose your voice for once, apparently. <clears throat> Apologize for that. Uh, you lose your voice and then you uh, apparently make the wrong choice and uh, get ambushed and whatnot. So this is uh, the consequences of our choices. So. Alright, we're good to go then. Our hole is about to fucking pretty much collapse on us though, so we need to go to the store and get that fixed and hopefully sell some shit and maybe even get another passenger, or not a passenger, but a crew member. A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long dead space whale. Huh, perfect place for a mantis, really. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth the look? It definitely is. Let me actually get some water here as well. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, drone control crew teleporters. Yeah, I'm gonna send my t fucking weak ass team to teleport to other ships. Yeah, cloaking could probably help out at this point in reality. Drone control, nope. So nothing really. I mean, unless I want to turn to a drone ship. I mean, I have 17 drone parts, like so kind of could, but I already have a defense one as well. No, no. Let's just sell, heal burst, all this shit. We have a lot of money, so obviously, first thing we want to do, heal the hole. I mean, if, if our fucking ship's destroyed, we can't go any further. So that's enough right now, I think. Uh, missiles are definitely becoming quite useful at this point of the game. Uh, I want to sell all these drone parts. Unfortunately, you can't sell your fucking drone parts. Pisses me off. You know, unless I run into a random vendor, but what are the chances of that? So let's just go. That's all we can really do for now. So here's another ship. Uh, I want to say fuck you to that ship, though, don't I? Yeah, let's just jump into the nebula, and hopefully there's not a thunderstorm or anything like that that's going to fuck us up. Without active sensors, you have no other option but to look out of the viewports and apprehension. It's eerily quiet. So nothing on this one good. And again, obviously being in the nebula is going to actually keep the uh, pursuit a bit slower, so that's also good. Um, and because we have the long-range scanners, we could actually see that jumping into this guy down here would kind of send us into a thunderstorm, which we don't want. So let's jump back a bit and then jump forward. Essentially, let's cover as many beacons as we can. We need more members. Inside this nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. Into the Great Eye? What am I looking into this guy's anus or something? What is he? Uh, why does the Zoltan sound like that too? Is beyond me. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of a feel taste for a little bit of uh, <laughs> voice acting here. So um, let's go ahead and pull the ship in closer. As you approach, an ancient alien voice speaks to you. Your mission has brought you great battles and great losses. This will help ease the pain. 
A few minutes later, uh, no, no, no comments on that voice, by the way. A few minutes later, someone reports medical equipment has appeared on the ship. Another healing burst. Are you kidding me? Man. Fucking, I should just run like a, a setup with like, you know, four healing bursts. Like, make it like the pacifist run. So there's a ship up here, and then we could jump over. So let's definitely take it. We need, honestly, we need to investigate as many beacons as possible. Even if they are fights. So we're going to be dealing with a rock cruiser here. This nebula turns out to be the hiding space for a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. They don't seem prepared to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. So because they're terrified of the Zoltans they're coming at us, like it's my fault that you're here. I didn't tell you to be here. Alright, so uh, with, this, with the rock cruisers, obviously, they have the chance to negate damage at times because of their fucking shields, so... Something to keep in mind. Why are my shields down is a real question. Penske. You put those shields back up, bro. Alright, so, um... Obviously, we want to go with their shields first with the Artemis, and then we will hold off on the burst laser and hole laser for now, after we see what the... Uh-oh. Okay. They landed one, and our missile missed. Thanks a lot, uh... I can't even blame Dexterity now because they died. <laughs> There's nobody there to blame. Alrighty, so let's just keep going for the fucking shields, I guess. I mean, that's gonna what's gonna aim for anyway. Alright. That was I should have probably just hold held off on the whole laser, honestly. Any right, Artemis? What do you got for us? Artemis got blown up by fucking missiles on the way. That's horse shit. Alright, so you know what? I'm gonna hold off on my whole laser and both laser for now. And I'm gonna wait till the Artemis is ready to go. And there goes my part of my Engine. Come on, Carlton Banks, get that up and running. So, Artemis, go and land in the shields. Alrighty, you did, and now let's send everything at the shields. And we're gonna miss. You know what? Fuck it. I'm out of here. <laughs> I am a big enough man to know when I've been uh, licked, and that was not gonna work out for us. This I could kind of deal. It probably has cloaking, it does. Obviously, they all fucking do. It's worrying that the rebels have penetrated so deep into the uncharted space. <laughs> penetrated so deep, yeah, okay. Even if it is only an unmanned craft, it arms its weapons, you should do the same. Huh. I plan to. Alrighty, um, this is worrisome. Uh, go and fix the oxygen, guys, because, you know, we, we might need fucking air to breathe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. You guys aren't aliens, and I don't think there's even aliens in the game that fuck live without air. Alrighty, so let's see what these assholes have in store for us here. Um, get the engines up and running, guys. You need the engines. Okay, don't fucking hit our oxygen anymore. Actually, you stay in the uh, engine room. He's almost done with it. Okay, there goes our weapons. Oh, this is really troubling. This is really fucking troubling. Alrighty, Artemis. Uh, Artemis, can you land on their, um, their cloaking device? Because fuck their cloaking device. And you did. But I don't think it took it down completely, so how about Burst Laser? Oh, last one missed, unfortunately. Alright, the weapons are up and running again, at least. Uh, Banks, you go back over there. Penske, you go back to the shields. It really hurts not having anybody in the fucking, uh, weapons room, that's for sure. Alright, the Artemis is going back to the cloaking device, which probably isn't a bad thing. Although, I, if I could change my assault point on that, I really would've. So let's keep going for the shields and hope for the best here. Okay, that didn't land either. I feel that this one is manageable for us to actually succeed in, though, so I'm not too worried. Um, I will, however, use one Artemis for the shields, and it landed good. Now, I'll hold off on a whole laser until I get the burst laser. Okay, that fucking beam of theirs just wrecked my life. Oh, we were one away from fucking killing them. That's horse shit. Penske, go fix the medic room momentarily. Uh, no more Artemis, by the way. Just need one more. Oh, fuck. It took down our... Fuck. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on. Come on, Burst Laser. Come on, Burst Laser. Alright, there we go. Wow, okay, that was fucking stressful. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useless scrap material, three fuel, one drone parts, 47 scraps. And continue onward. So, obviously, that was a pretty shitty battle as well. We're not really getting much in terms of, like, actual proper... I guess, uh, scrap, or really resources. I could, I definitely would kill right now for a new member. Why well, I wouldn't kill for a new member. Like, I wouldn't kill one of my members for a new member, because then it'd be kind of, like, anti-productive in reality. Although that Penske file kind of has it coming from in reality. Um, actually, you know what? What we were yabbering about, how about we actually, uh, send my guys to get a little bit of, uh, medical help really quickly here? I know I just took down the oxygen to do that. I, uh, 
<laughs> I'm not too worried that we're gonna go out of uh, oxygen in that meantime. Penske, go back over there, and you go over there. And there we go. Fully helped. There you go. Put the oxygen back on. There you go. I, I could have taken it off the engine, but I wasn't too worried that, you know, fucking the oxygen being off for like five seconds to kill us. You know, famous last words, obviously. Uh, let's jump. Uh, ew, fuck. I'm. I'm fucking terrified of all these ships, honestly. Let me. Let me jump to this one that doesn't even have any sort of uh, predicament, because I'm low on health. You cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static, so nothing on this one. Any stores around here? Nope. And we can only jump to the exit unless I want to jump back. But if I jump back, then I have to go through this fuck shit over here. Nope, let's just jump to the exit and hopefully there's a store by the exit or a store in the exit, something. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Alrighty, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not want to anger it doesn't want to engage and it doesn't want to engage you and your ship, I should say. Demand a surrender of their goods or avoid the ship. Let's go ahead and demand a surrender. You prepare to secure the cargo by force. Alright, it looks like they don't want to fight and they're trying to escape. Alright, fucking pussies. Alright, so they have a defense drone, so our Artemis won't do much for us here. So we have to definitely go after Oh man, their shields as soon as possible, honestly. I want to go after their engine room, but you know what? I might as well just go for the engine room since uh, taking out the shields will essentially uh, be the same thing that the burst laser and hull laser do anyway. So let's see how this goes. Oh, they have a defense drone too. That's why it's knocking down my lasers as well. Alrighty, well that's fucking good to know. Yeah, this ship's gonna get away. <laughs> the ship's fucking out of here. And okay. Oh, so close. Look at that shit. Oh, and they took down our weapons as well. Alright, let's just jump. <laughs> God fucking damn it. 